Hi everyone, Glamo here. So today is live Monday. Yay! <laughs> I just got done putting some makeup on and straightening my hair, so that's why it's standing straight up. Um, but after I get done going live here, I'm going to um, do a little clothing haul, a try on clothing haul. And uh, it's stuff that I got at Walmart on clearance, and it's mostly summer stuff. Um, so it's not stuff that I can wear right now, even though it is pretty warm here in Texas. It's not really stuff that I can wear right now, but that's usually when stuff goes on clearance, it's usually stuff that's going out of season. So I'm going to do a little clothing haul here after I'm done going live. And uh, yeah, I've only got a few things, but I'm kind of embarrassed to try them on because some of them are shorts and some of them are like strapless type clothes. And I haven't quite lost all the weight that I want to lose yet. So I was kind of waiting to do that haul till I lost some more weight, but it's probably not going to be happening anytime soon. So I better get it over with because I bought this stuff like probably three months ago. So I've been waiting to lose weight for that long. <laughs> so if I haven't lost it yet, more than likely, I'm not going to. So, okay, I had someone in here, they left. So I don't have anyone in here right now. So if I don't end up um, having anyone in here in the next couple minutes, I'm just going to probably say goodbye. Um, because yeah, I don't want to just talk to myself. <laughs> so I'm sitting in my new beauty room. This used to be the exercise room and we just put all the exercise equipment into the bonus room. And we moved me out of the storage closet and into this room. And I think this is my favorite beauty room um, since living in this house so far. I like the wall color. I wish it was white, but I like the wall color. It's kind of like a, uh, a soft beige color. We've got two people in here, hi. So yeah, I'm sitting in my new beauty room right now and I'll give you guys a tour after I'm done. Hi Lillian. After I'm done um, putting everything where it belongs. I don't have everything set exactly where I'm gonna keep it, I don't think at this point. Najay says hi, hi. Hello Tammy. <laughs> so we've got 10 people in here now. So yeah, um, so like I was just saying, hi Tanya, songs by Charlene says hi, hi. <laughs> so like I was saying, I just got done putting on some makeup, straightening my hair. I'm going to do a small um, clothing haul, a Walmart clothing haul after I'm done being live here. And hi Karen. And I got some smiley faces there <laughs> from someone else. So... <laughs> I already mentioned this, but nobody was in here when I was talking about this. Um, the clothing haul that I'm going to do is from probably stuff I bought three months ago, but I was waiting to lose a little bit more weight before I did this clothing haul because it's kind of summer wear, like shorts, and one of the things is like a strapless um, short outfit, and so I was hoping to lose a little bit more weight, but... I've been waiting for three months to do this clothing haul and I haven't lost weight yet. So I'm just going to do it before um, it's before I feel like, OK, I've been holding on to this clothing haul for this long. You know, so I'm just going to go ahead and do it after I get done filming this. So you can probably be looking for that either Wednesday or Friday. And I think I'm going to put a vlog together um, this week as well. I was going to I've been vlogging all the doctor's appointments and everything that was going to be leading up to the surgery but since I'm not since they didn't do the surgery I'm probably not going to put those doctor's appointments vlogs up yet maybe if I end up having surgery later I'll put all that all those vlogs together um in a series so I'm gonna have to go through my vlogging camera and see what kind of vlog footage I got that's not doctor um, related or anything like that and so I'll put up some just regular vlogging stuff that we did you know like when we went to restaurants or went shopping and stuff like that so I'll be doing that um, but anyway that's kind of why I put makeup on today and um, straightened my hair because I looked like a cave woman <laughs> so I'm gonna be doing that clothing haul after I'm done here I missed a bunch of comments so let me get some comments um Oh, way up here. Um, okay, so Tanya says, you look like you're feeling much better. 
No, not really, but I just don't want to keep harping on the pain that I'm feeling. So I'm just going to let it go and continue life as usual, like I always do. I try to not show pain or to show frustration or anything. So, yeah, I'm just going to just, I don't know. Life is life goes on, right? The pain's not gone, but life goes on. Tammy Gonzalez says hello from Oregon. Hi, Tammy. Glenda says hello from Los Angeles, California. I love how you, I love your crochet videos. Oh, thank you. So are you crocheting a lot? I've got like over, I've got almost 300 crochet videos on this channel and I have, I don't know, maybe 10 or 15 knitting videos. So if you want to learn to knit, you can also learn to knit. I've got basic knitting tutorials on here as well. Mari says hello. Hi, Mari. Lazuli says, howdy, hope you're feeling well. I'm feeling okay. <laughs> Rosalinda says, hello, hello, <laughs> hello, hope you are doing well. I'm doing good, I'm doing good. Thank you, Rosalinda. Hello, Rose from Denver, Colorado. Songs by Charlene says, she's hope she hopes I'm feeling better. Mm, not really, but we'll just leave it at that. Blanche says, hello, Glamma. I hope you're feeling better. Hi, Blanche. Um, Simply Mari says, hola, Bea, from Hershey, Pennsylvania. Hi, Mari. <laughs> and thanks for the compliment. Ethel, what is the music roads? Says, hi. That's a long name to say. <laughs> Ethel, what is, the what is the music roads? Sharon says hi from Nova Scotia, Canada. Hi, Sharon. Aw, Glenda says you always look good even when you don't feel good. Thank you, Glenda. I appreciate it. You know, I just don't want to keep on talking about the pain, talking about the shoulder, this shoulder right here. I've got a large sweater on, so it keeps falling on me. Um, yeah, I just don't want to keep harping on it and dwelling on it. if. Uh, I, coming on here and talking to you guys helps helps me keep my mind off the pain, as a matter of fact. And you guys always make me feel better. Um, so, yeah. I'm, I always look forward to Mondays with you guys. Okay, let's see what other co comments I missed. Tanya says, I'm in Springfield, Oregon. Oh, yeah, she was answering someone else's question about where in Oregon she was. Rose says, yes, I love your crochet tutorials. Thank you. Hi, Mary from New Mexico. <laughs> Songs by Charlene says, you are a beautiful person. Love your videos. Thank you. You're so sweet. Um, Tiff says, hi, Glamma from New York. Ooh, from New York. <laughs> Dora says, how you, how you, how you doing? Feel better. Um, I'm feeling, I'm feeling okay. I mean, pain's still there, but eh, I'm fine. Tammy says, talking about your pain is good therapy. Yes, but I've been talking about it so much that I'm even tired of, if I'm tired of talking about it, everyone must be tired of hearing about it. So I just, I'll just not talk about that anymore. <laughs> Blanche says, okay, she was talking to someone else. Margaret says, hi, Glamma, you are a very pretty lady. Oh, thank you. You're so sweet. Um, Tiff says, yay, LOL, something. I don't know what she's talking about. Maybe she's talking to someone else in here. Alrighty, guys. So what have you guys been up to? What did y'all do this weekend? Wow, we have 43 people in here. That's awesome. Marlene says, hello from Richmond Hill. Oh, it just jumped up. Let me go back. Richmond Hill, on Richmond Hill, Ontario, Canada. Sorry, cannot stay with you today, but hope you have a nice chat. All right, thank you so much for jumping in here and saying hi, Marlene. So you have a good day. Bye. <laughs> Mary says, no, not tired. You need to talk about it. We love you. Oh, thank you so much. I just, I really don't have anything else new to add to the fact that I'm hurting. I don't have any new, actually the only new thing that I have to say is, um, today's Monday. On Wednesday, I have an appointment to go get a neck injection. You know how they did a shoulder cortisone shot injection? Um, my surgeon at one point had recommended going and getting a neck injection to see if the symptoms went away. And um, I opted not to do that because I was going to be having the surgery anyway. 
but now that I'm not having the surgery, um, Adam thinks it's best for me to go and get the injection to see if it alleviates some of the pain. So I've got an appointment at 11 o'clock um, Wednesday morning to go have that injection done. So hopefully that helps. I'm not in as much pain as I was previously. So that's kind of, that's awesome. I'm sleeping a little bit better, but I still wake up in pain. Um, and I should go downstairs and get pain pills when, I'm, when I wake up like that. But I'm trying to not get addicted to them. So I try to just deal with the pain. And in the morning, I usually take it. Like this morning, I took my pain pill at 8 o'clock this morning. And then I usually take it again at 8 o'clock at night. So yeah, that's the only new thing is that I have an appointment on Wednesday to get a cortisone shot. Grace Moran says, Leticia, how are you? I'm doing good, Grace. I'm so glad you got your package. I got your message saying that you got your giveaway gift. Yay! I'm so glad you like it. Um, Mari says, Black Friday shopping. You know, I um, we went Black Friday shopping at Walmart on Friday and finesse got a bunch of movies we got a few movies and uh, they were like a dollar 90 something so that was a really good deal and then today i jumped online to see what kind of um, cyber monday um, things there were but i didn't really see anything that i needed i mean well there's things that i want but nothing that i needed so i didn't buy anything today however yesterday um i bought a bunch of seahawks gear from walmart.com and i'm thinking oh my goodness i hope it doesn't go on sale today. So I didn't even think about that today was Cyber Monday. So today I hopped on Walmart to make sure that the stuff I bought yesterday didn't go on sale today. Not that I could have done anything about it. I probably shouldn't have done that because what if it had gone on sale? I'd have felt bad. But um, none of the stuff that I bought is on sale for Cyber Monday. So yay. <laughs> I'm glad that I didn't. Uh... <coughs> I'm, I'm glad that it wasn't on sale because that would have made me feel bummed out that I could have saved money. Um, Rose Reina, Rose Reina says, prayers for you, Glamma. Thank you, Rose. Margaret Holiday says, hi, Glamma. I got sick with the flu, aw, but it's going away. Then my nephew passed away, aw, and went home for that. Now I'm trying to catch up with YouTube videos. Glad you're dealing with your pain the good way. Yes, I don't wanna take pain pills. I'm so sorry about your nephew. I've never really lost anyone too, too well, other than my aunt, but we weren't so, so close. When I was younger, I was close to my Thea, but the closest person that I've had pass away is my Thea. My mom's dad passed away, but we weren't that close to him, but I've never had anyone that I'm really close to pass away, so I'm so sorry. I can't even tell you that I can relate to that, um, but I'm so sorry for your loss. Oh, it's nice to see you too, Margaret. Adam says, hey, babe. <laughs> hey, Adam. <laughs> so, yeah, after the after I get done going live, I'm going to go ahead and do that clothing haul. I'm kind of embarrassed because I have to put shorts on. <laughs> and my cellulite's going to show. And I haven't lost the weight that I want to lose yet. But if I keep waiting, that stuff's going to really, really, really be out of uh, out of style. <laughs> it's already out of season as it is. And then if I keep waiting for me to lose weight, might be 10 years before that happens, so I better just do the clothing all. My husband bought me the mirror I've been wanting. It's a stand-up mirror right here. So I'll show you that mirror when I do a uh, room tour later, but not everything is where I want it yet. So once I get everything in this room the way that I want it, I'll give you all a little tour. Like I said earlier, this is my favorite beauty room that I've had in this house so far. So yeah, I love it. Tammy says, I just finished making Christmas doily. Oh, nice. You're crocheting a throw, Lazuli says. Tanya says that she had her dad, her brother, and niece over for Thanksgiving. How fun. And the neck injections messed you up, Mari? What do you mean? How did it mess you up? Oh, here she's just telling me. They leave your neck stiff after it wears off. Are you kidding? <gasps> Ooh, I don't know if I want it, but we already have the appointment. Ugh. So does it go away? Does the stiff neck go away? Or is it just right after they give you the shot, it's stiff? I hope it wears off. Oh, my word. Now I'm worried. Aw, oh, Grace says, I love my gift. I'm so happy. <laughs> 
Is your, is your sister still with you, Grace asked. No, she left last Wednesday. So she was here from Thursday of the week before till Wednesday of last week. Um, and as a matter of fact, I just, I just did some wash. I just washed some clothes and I'm going to send her some of the stuff that I bought for her while she was here. She couldn't take anything extra because she packed a really small bag to get here. And so I'm going to send her gifts that I, that I bought for her. Um, I just washed them last night and I, I'm boxing them up today. I've got half of the stuff in the box. I still have to put the other stuff that I washed in the box. So yeah, but I really, really enjoyed her visit. Um, and even though I feel bad because the surgery didn't actually happen and that's what she came for, we really enjoyed ourselves. I got to do a makeover on her and she looked gorgeous. I mean, she's already a beautiful woman, and uh, but she just looked so much more gorgeous. I mean, it, she looked awesome. I had so much fun doing that makeover. And you know, she's only the fourth person I've ever put makeup on. I put makeup on my my granddaughter Danielle. I put makeup on Adam for a little challenge. I put makeup on my daughter-in-law Jemmy, and then my sister um, Laura, which we call her Lulu, is the fourth person I put makeup on. But each time that I've put makeup on someone, I really love it. I really enjoy it. And after putting my make after putting makeup on my sister, I realized that I actually prefer putting makeup on other people rather than on myself. I mean, I enjoy playing with makeup on myself, but I enjoy it so much more making other people feel good about themselves. That So much so that I think I'm gonna look into makeup artist um, courses and try to get my, my MUA license, my makeup artist license. So yeah, and then maybe I can offer y'all, um, like if you know of anyone getting married or if one of your family members is getting married or having special pictures taken or whatever, y'all can hire me to come do your makeup. That would be fun. But no, my sister's not with me. <laughs> Nubian says hi. And she says, nice makeup. Thank you. So I've just got very, um, very simple eye makeup on. I used this little flirt palette right here. It's by Tarte. It's Tartlet Flirt. And it's a mini size of their bigger size of these. But this is this is the colors that I used. I used this one and this one. In the transition area and then I used this color right here in the lid right there so yeah <laughs> thanks for the compliment okay let me see I missed some comments sister Watson says hey glamour hi <laughs> Aw, Nubian says hi nice makeup and hair thank you Mary Avalo says, oh, awesome. I can't wait to see your room tour. Thank you. Yeah, this used to be the, the, the workout room, but we moved all the, all the um, workout equipment into the bonus room. So now this is going to be my beauty room because I don't know if y'all saw my last couple videos. I was in a storage closet. <laughs> I literally could reach my arms like this and touch the walls. I was in a storage closet. So if you look at my last video and the video before that, I'm in the storage closet. <laughs> That's funny. Um, and Grace Moran had said hi to Adam. So Adam says, hi, Grace. <laughs> Margaret says, I was sad for my sister. Thank you very much, Glamo. Yes. Um, were you close to your nephew? Do they live in the same state as you? If so, then you probably were very, very close to them. I'm so sorry. Thank you. <laughs> Nubia, and she said it again. Nice makeup and hair. Hi, Stephanie. How are you today? Anjali James says, hello, ma'am. Hi. Hi, Anjali. Michelle says, hi, Glamour. How are you doing? You looking good. Hope you're feeling good. I enjoy your videos. Oh, thank you so much. I'm still feeling the same, but that's okay. <laughs> I, I'll live with it. I mean, I, I'm living. That's the main thing. If I have to live with the pain, then I live with the pain. <laughs> but I'm doing all right. Okay, so Mari says, I have had the injection once, and ever since, I have had stiffness in my neck, and this was two years ago. Oh, my goodness, and I still can't move my neck like I used to. Oh, now that's stressing me out. 
I wonder if that's going to happen to me. So when you went and had the neck injection, what was it for? What symptoms were you trying to get rid of? And did the symptoms go away at least? Ay, I'm so stressed out about it now. I almost don't want the injection. <laughs> Tanya says that sounds like fun. Were you talking about me giving my my sister the makeover? It was. It was so much fun. And then she took pictures and sent them to her husband. And her husband said, where'd you get that done? And she says, my sister did it. <laughs> so that was cool. Leanne says, God has a reason for everything. Sounds like you had a lot of fun. Yeah, we did. And we. it was really nice to catch up with her. It had been a couple years since I'd seen her. Grace says, I would love for you to put makeup on me. I would love to put makeup on you guys. Um, it would be awesome for me and my husband to fly wherever you guys are. And uh, I don't know if we could afford to fly over there, but if you guys had an event or something and could afford to fly me over there, I would fly over there to do, you know, one of your families or friends' wedding or, or any kind of special events that y'all have. I would love to do y'all's makeup, even without the makeup artist license. I just... You know, I think I'm better on other people than I am on myself, <laughs> putting makeup on. Aw, thank you, Anjali. She says, you're looking so beautiful and vibrant. Thanks. So what I really love about this new beauty room is that there's one window here and one window here. So it lights me up perfectly. And there's a lot of natural light coming in, which I usually do filming right around this time of day. So it's perfect. The sun's not coming in and you know, being too harsh on my face. It's like perfect window lighting. So it's so cool. Can't wait to show you the, the room tour. I just have to figure out where I, I don't know that I want to keep those things on the wall. I don't know if I like that right there. I definitely want that right there, but I don't know if I like that on top. I need to find something to put over here and something to put over here. And I don't know if I want that there. I almost want a mirror, like a rectangular mirror there. And initially I had that right there over here, or where did I have it? Yeah, I had it over here. Um, I had that over here and then I had this one over to the side. So I don't know, I don't know how I want, how I want to keep it yet. Blanche says, I would let you do my makeup every day. <laughs> That's so nice. Tammy says, you're so creative. Oh, thank you. Most of my life, I've been very artistic. I've, I've always drawn and painted and stuff like that. And I really don't do that anymore, which I really should because it's really relaxing to draw and paint. But I just don't have time for that anymore. So now um, I draw and paint on my face. <laughs> Margaret Holiday says, you're looking beautiful as always, but I hate to go, but I have a doctor's appointment. Bye-bye for now. All right, Margaret, I hope your doctor's appointment goes well. And my thoughts are with you and I hope you get to feeling better. And, you know, I know it's going to take time for you to feel better. Alrighty, we'll see you. Bye. Patricia Thompson says, hi, Glamma. You're looking beautiful like always. Nice to see another video. Hoping your neck gets better. Well, you know what? It's not really my neck that's hurting. The discs are bad in the neck, but what's hurting is the shoulder. So, he wants the neck injection in there to see if the symptoms on my shoulder and arms go away. But we think the neck is the culprit of all my pain, <laughs> which is why they were gonna do the surgery on my neck. But we'll see what happens. Margaret says, ah, that they're in the same state, semi-close, but I was more sad for my sister, yeah. All right, Margaret, you have a good day. And um, I'll be thinking about you and your sister that, you know, that time will heal the pain that you guys are feeling. Leanne says, what is the name on that makeup palette? I love the colors. Um, It's just called Tartlet Flirt. It's right here and I got it at Sephora. And yeah, so that's the only name there is to it. So it's basically called Tartlet Flirt, yeah. So yeah, you can probably order it on sephora.com and uh, I think it was like $20. Mary Avalo says, just ask the doctor doing the injections about the side effects. I had injections in my spine and had no problem. I guess it depends. Don't stress. I'll try not to because I really, I really didn't want the injections to begin with. That's why I had canceled it um, because I was going to be having the surgery anyway. So I canceled the injection because the cortisone shot in my shoulder hurts so much. And 
I just don't want to go through that again in the neck. But Adam thinks it's the best thing to do. Um, the neck injections. And if the pain goes away, that means that I did need the surgery on my cervical spine. And if so, we found a place in Scottsdale, Arizona, that does a minimally invasive surgery, the same surgery that my surgeon was going to do, but his surgery would have left a scar from here to here. Um, well, this other place in Scottsdale, Arizona leaves a really teeny tiny little scar and they go in microscopically and it's less invasive. You're out that same day. Um, so if that neck injection helps with the pain, that means I do still need that surgery. And if so, then we'll fly to Scottsdale, Arizona and get it done there. So that's kind of why I'm why Adam thinks I should get the injection so we can rule either rule it out that I don't need the surgery or if it helps with the pain, that means I do need the surgery and we'll go to Scottsdale, Arizona. Um, put pictures of your granddaughters up. Um, which are the, the older ones? Yeah, I haven't, I they, they haven't been over here in a long time. So yeah, you guys haven't seen them. They're so big now. <laughs> Danielle, my oldest is 13. And then my young, my middle granddaughter, Cassidy is 11. And then Petrova is almost three. And Zoe is almost two. And then Gavin, did I mention all one, two, three, four? Yeah, and then Gavin is nine months old. Grace says, gotta go. Love you, Leticia. Have a wonderful day. All right, Grace, bye. I'm so glad you got your gifts. And after you use them, let me know how you like them. Cheryl says, what state are you located in? I'm in Texas right now. Yeah, I used to live in Washington state, but I'm in Texas. Texas is where I was born. I was born in Castroville, Texas, but we're living in San Antonio right now. Um, yeah, and it's really nice. Let me see if I can turn the camera around and you can see. Oh, look, there's, the, there's my desk and there's the mirror that Adam got me. But it's really nice weather right now. So on this side, I'm looking out to the front yard and over here, I'm looking at my neighbor's roof. <laughs> but you see how the, you see how those windows are right there. Uh, so that's really cool that I've got two windows lighting me up. So that's awesome. So it's really nice outside. I think it's like 70 degrees outside right now, but it's windy. So that's why I'm wearing a sweater because it's cold. <laughs> Uh, Tanya says, I would totally let you do mine too, her makeup. Um, Mari says, I had the same disc problems as you. Okay, and I was recommended to get it done because it would help deal with the pain, but they don't tell you the side effects or the consequences to it. You should look further. Okay, I'll look further into it. Let me let my dog in really quick. Are you there, Paris? Paris, there you are. I thought I heard you. I thought I heard you. Okay. I'll definitely, well, I don't know. I'm so, uh, I'm so stressed out about it. Cause like I said, I didn't even want the injection to begin with. That's why I opted not to get it before my surgery that week. But uh, I don't know. Judy says, feel better soon. Love your videos. Thank you, Judy. Cheryl says, I had injections, they did not work, and I had to have surgery. It was the best thing I did. If you want to PM me, you can. I have to run, but would do it all again. All pain and numbness went away. Oh, wow, okay, cool. All right, Cheryl, thank you, and I know you're leaving, so bye. Thanks for popping in and saying hi. Leanne says, thank you so much. I will look for that. Yeah, you're welcome. I hope you find it, and I think they have a bigger... Um, version of this with more colors, but this is the the smaller version and so I liked the colors in here So I just got the smaller version. I think the bigger version is like 40 or $50 My hair is just I just straightened it. So when I straighten my hair It just leaves all my little hair standing straight up <laughs> um, Marty says they don't tell you the side effects and it only lasts a few hours really and it starts all over again my goodness but I guess the thing about it is if the um, if the pain goes away, even for a few hours, it'll at least let me know that the neck surgery is necessary. Oh, my, my, uh, 
My sister just uh, messaged me on my WhatsApp app, my WhatsApp app. <laughs> That's how we chat with each other and send videos and um, sometimes do video calls is on the WhatsApp app. Hi, Jenny. How are you? Have you gotten your package yet? <laughs> I know that um, Darlene has and Grace Moran has. So I was, I'm curious to know if you got your package yet. Okay, so Mari says, it helped take my arm pain away but left my neck stiff. Ah, so you, you got a trade-off there. Oh, my goodness. Honestly, though, I'd rather have stiff neck and have this pain go away because this is my dominant arm and I can't use it. Um... And I have stiff neck anyway because of the discs being messed up. I don't have full mobility anyway. So I don't know. I guess it's a trade-off. And I think I'd much rather have my pain be gone, I think. <laughs> Margaret says, you know, it, it would be nice if everyone up here, if they could, could pick a place and we all meet so you could come and see us. Yes, that would be awesome. Remember I talked about all of us going on a cruise? That would be so fun. If the if we got a big enough group, it would probably only cost four or five hundred dollars per person. And it would be like a six night, seven day cruise. That would be so fun. Adam and I have only been on one cruise, but we were with a group and so it was only five hundred each. But all your food is free. Everything is free except the entertainment, except for the alcohol. That's the only thing you we had to pay for. Jenny says, I got the brush cleaner in the mail yesterday. Thank you for the card. I loved it. I put it on my Christmas tree. Oh, that's so sweet. That's awesome. Yeah, I sent a, so for those of y'all, um, I sent a, a little card in everyone's little gift package, a little personalized message to each of them. And I signed it and stuff. And did you smell the perfume? I put a little dash of perfume on there. It's this perfume by DKNY. I have this in the spray and I have a little roller ball. So I put a little bit on my wrist on of the roller ball and then I touch the card with it so that it would smell nice and pretty so that y'all know what I always smell like. I always have this on. This is the perfume I always wear. <laughs> I love it. it. Smells so clean and fresh. Patricia says, I got the shot in my knees and it works okay. It helps me for a little bit and then go back for another shot every three months. I have pain, but not as bad. Yeah, that's basically what cortisone shots are. It's just kind of like a band-aid to help um, alleviate the pain for a little while. And then, of course, it does come back because it's not, it's not surgery. It's not going to fix you 100%. It's just temporary relief. And in our case, or in my case, we just want to know if it does, if the pain does go away so that we know that, yes, I do need the surgery or not. I got 10 thumbs ups in here. Yay. We've got 34 people in here now. So if all of y'all put, put a thumbs up on this video, I think there's somewhere in here that you can um, put a thumbs up and that would be awesome. Robin says, I feel for you. I have had the injection before in my shoulder, but in a couple days it felt better. Awesome. That's good to hear. Maria says, hope you're doing well. I'm doing okay. Robin says, love your sweater. Did you make it? No, I didn't. I bought it at Walmart on clearance for $11 and I love it. I've been wearing it every single day. <laughs> Blanche says, okay, Glamma, I need to go. I hope you start to feel better soon. Love your videos. Miss your crochet ones. Well, there's lots of crochet ones that you can go and, 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 um, and crochet for the winter time. They're all on here. Leanne says, I watched your tutorials about the crochet booties and that's how I found your channel. It was the first crochet booties I had ever made a few years ago. I just love your videos and I miss them. Don't miss them, just go rewatch them. <laughs> Jamie says, do the wedgie challenge. Wedgie challenge? Okay. <laughs> So that's all the comments. Madi says it helps if you get light neck massages after. It helped with the stiffness. Okay. And I, I know that one thing that the shoulder specialist said when he put the injection in my shoulder, he said, because I was like this because my, my arm already hurts so much that I tend to hold it up. He says, relax. And as the shot, as the medicine was going in, it hurt so much that I think I tensed up. He said, if you tense up, it's gonna hurt more afterwards and, and it might stiffen up on you. So maybe, 
maybe that happened. Maybe you kind of tensed up and didn't relax as much, and maybe that's maybe what caused the stiffness. I don't know. But it makes a lot of sense that if you massage the area afterwards, it'll distribute the medicine everywhere and, and help. So that's good advice, Madi. Robin says, I make your messy bun hats. Oh, cool. Yeah. Um, so I think I put two messy bun hats on there. Didn't I? Didn't I put two versions on there? I had a third one and I never got around to making it. But you never know. One of these days I might put up new crochet videos. I don't know. I might. <laughs> My life is getting a little bit more settled down, especially once I get rid of this shoulder pain and my life is more settled. I might put up more crochet videos. You never know. <laughs> okay, so that's all the comments. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Tanya says, I want to make a messy bun hat. I don't, I didn't realize Glamour had a tutorial. I'm going to have to go check it out. Yeah, go to the crochet playlist. And Jenny says, no, I didn't notice. I'll smell it and see. LOL, I have to get going. See you next week. Take care. All right, bye-bye. And give Nathan a hug for me. That's her little, her little baby, her son. He's close to um, Petrova's age. Madi says, they put me under when I got the injection. Oh, really? I woke up so happy and groggy, but after a few days, it didn't help. Oh my goodness. They didn't say anything about me going under. Wow. Patsy says, good afternoon to all. Hi, Patsy. So, all right, we've been on for 36 minutes. I'll answer any questions you guys have, or if you guys have comments, or if you wanna let me know what you did this past weekend, I'll stay on for a couple more minutes. If not, then we can start saying goodbye. And I can start filming that clothing haul. Ah, I'm so embarrassed to, to film it because I know I'm going to have to try on some shorts. <laughs> oh, Madi says going under is optional. Ooh. Yeah, maybe I do want to go under. <laughs> get, some, get some much needed sleep for just those couple minutes. <laughs> oh my goodness, I haven't slept well in six months. All right, so I'm not getting any other comments. Um... Oh, there's Margaret. My phone is dying. I have to go charge it up. Love you. Have to go. Something So says I'm new. You're new to my channel? <laughs> well, welcome. Alrighty, guys. Um, thank you, Mary. Patsy says I'm working on a butterfly shawl. I am thinking about putting a hoodie on it. Ooh, that sounds nice. Mighty says you'll wake up pain free and very happy but then I might have stiff neck. Oh. Ah. So if they put you under, that means you were completely relaxed. And so my little theory of maybe you tensing up doesn't even apply because if you were put under, obviously your body was completely relaxed. Ah. I, I'm wondering if maybe they hit a spot by accident that they shouldn't have that made the stiffness. I don't know. Oh. Well, I don't know what to do. I think I'm gonna go ahead with the surgery because like I said, when I weigh out the different things, pain-free in the arm or a little or stiffness in the neck, I think I'd rather have stiff neck than pain. Robin says she has a lot of pillows around her when she sleeps and that it helps. Mary says they just gave me a numbing injection. Oh, okay. Yeah, they gave me um, a numbing injection as well. And then they did the cortisone shot and I still, the actual shot, shots don't bother me. I feel a little prick, but um, shots don't bother me. But what hurt was when the medicine goes in, it's like, oh, that was so painful. <laughs> oh my goodness. Alrighty guys, so I am going to say goodbye and I'm gonna go get the summer clothes that I bought on clearance and try them on and do a little haul. Um, oh wait, Patricia just said, I don't know what it's called, but it's a posture and it helps your back and shoulders. It's like a brawl. Don't know the name of it. I don't know either. Alrighty guys, I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye. Get started with my day. Film that little haul. All right. Bye, Stephanie. Robin says it's the pressure that hurts. And with me, it wasn't the pressure. It was the medicine actually being distributed that actually hurt. Bye, Tanya. You have a good day too. And post some pics on Instagram. Okay, I will. Maybe I'll post pics of the uh, outfits that I'm going to be doing the haul on. Madi says, yay, clothing haul. Yeah, but I'm embarrassed because I haven't lost the weight that I want to lose. And it's shorts and summer stuff. So. 
oh well, we're all women, right? We all know the struggles with stuff like that. <laughs> ciao, Lazuli. She says ciao, so I said ciao. <laughs> Patsy says later and be blessed, everyone. Alrighty, guys. Um, thank you so much. You've lifted my spirits and um, I always enjoy talking to you guys. So, alrighty, guys, have a good rest of your day and a good week. And I'll be putting up a couple videos. I'll hopefully putting up a video on Wednesday and Friday. Maybe one of them will be a vlog video and the other one, maybe the clothing haul. So, alright, guys, don't forget how much I love you. Don't forget to love yourselves and everyone you come in contact with. All right. Adios. Besitos. Thank you, Mari.